Hello friends, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to discuss one Deloitte coding question. Okay, and that question was came in 27 December in second slot. Okay, so uh, let's see first the question. Okay, then I will also describe uh, how we can solve that problem. Okay, so this is the question because I cannot write anything in this picture. That's why I write the same thing in my PPT also and uh, so uh, let's see from there and then i can easily describe this code also okay okay so this is the same question okay and uh, what this question is saying to you let's see first given a list l of n numbers print the sum s of all the checksums of the list after eliminating the minimum and maximum digits from the checksum of number is the sum of all the digits of the number a number should be considered as zero if there is no digit remaining after eliminating from the number yeah i think it's quite confusing so for this uh, let's see the example first and easily you can understand what's going on okay so this is your uh, array size okay and this is the elements that is present in your array okay and your output is 20 so how you will get this 20 let's see this is your array okay and this is the element that is present in your array okay so you have to eliminate the maximum number and the minimum digits not the number actually you have to remove the maximum and the minimum digits from each element okay means these are your elements right you have the four elements and you have to eliminate the maximum and the minimum digits from each element and me it means that what is the minimum digit from this number from this number the minimum digit is 1 right and what is the maximum digit your maximum digit is 3 that's why your answer is 22 for the next element same thing is happening um, like 2 is the minimum one and 4 is the maximum one that's why your result is 3 okay for the next element 3 is your minimum 5 is your maximum that's why your answer is 44 okay for the last element what is your maximum? Your maximum is 6 and minimum is 4. So that's why your answer is 5. Okay. I think it's clear. So next, you have to add this all the digits. Means here, what is your first element? Your first element is 22. So you have to add this each digit. Means 2 means 2 plus 2. What you will get is 4. Right. And what next is 3. Okay. And for the third element, 4 plus 4 is 8, right? So that's why you will get 8. And the last one is 5, okay? And at the end, you have to sum up all these numbers. Means 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5 is 20, okay? In this way, you will get 20. So what is the first task? Your first task is you have to remove the maximum and the minimum digits from each element, okay? And then you have to add all the digits okay that means all the remaining digits you have to add up okay so after adding up all the digits individually at the end you have to add all the elements means all the elements you have to add okay and then you will get your output right i think it's clear so now let's see how you can solve this problem okay so i will solve this problem using java okay so let's see how you can solve okay so now i come to my eclipse ide so basically as you can see i realize something like i just take the array size and the element that will be based in our array i just take all the things from our user so i don't think it is very important because you only need to write a logic part so i only discussed the logic part only okay so basically to solve this problem you only uh, like for i will uh, create total two methods to solve this problem okay so let's start so at first public static int sum int arr
so this is our two methods that i will use to solve this problem okay so at first 4 in i equals to 0 i less than a r r to length okay and i plus plus okay and then sum equals to sum plus digits a r r of i okay so now in this method you need to calculate the each digit right so int int temp equals to 0 then while temp is greater than 0 then int r equals to temp modulus 10 okay okay at first i will take one array list okay array list because all the digits i will store in this array list only okay integer type obviously integer al equals to new array list okay and then al dot add i okay and temp equals to temp modulus 10 okay so and then um and i will just show this array list okay collections dot short a l okay and then i will traverse because you have to uh, remove or you can say eliminate the maximum one and the minimum one right so after sort you will get what in the first position the minimum number and the last position the maximum number right means the maximum digit right so that's why when i will traverse this array list i will start from traversing from what from first index not from the zeroth index okay then i a l dot size minus one because we don't want to uh, take the last index also because in the last index we have the maximum digit right so we need to ignore that digit also then i plus plus okay and then this equals to this plus a l dot get i right okay and then at the end i just return this race okay so return sum it's okay so in our main method we just print this thing okay simple out of print ln print ln okay sum uh, no sum yeah sum sum of arr so now let's run this code don't worry i'll describe whole code also with an example okay four one two two three two three four three four four five four five six okay okay so as you can see this code is give me zero because actually i uh, make a very minor mistake actually in temp i initialize this temp to zero actually this temp must be initialized with n not zero okay so for this reason this code this code gives me zero okay this is very minor mistake uh, and you can make these types of mistakes also okay so try to avoid these types of mistakes in your exam so yeah now this code will give me correct output okay so now this is how this code is uh, executing let's see so this is our example okay i take this example only so what is the element is like 1 2 2 3 okay 2 3 4 uh, 3 4 4 5 and 4 6 uh, 4 5 6 okay so this is your um, element that is present in your array okay so in the first method i just i just uh, like use this array only and i just traversing our array okay and each element i just pass this t 
digit method okay so the main uh, like main working is happening in this digit method okay so basically i just at first i just take an array list okay because i use it array list to add all the elements uh, in our array list what are the elements the image is just i just like what is our first element our first element is one two two three right means this is your n value for the first time okay so now um, in the array list i just add all these digits means in our array list what we'll have we will have one two two three okay right i think it's clear so basically to uh, like to get all these digits individually we can use a uh, just a second huh? yes we can use this concept like as like in our school's life we already learned this thing right the how to get the each teaches from an element or from a number right so i use the same thing like uh, in the first line i just uh, divide that particular number by 10 okay and I, I just take the remainder and what will be your remainder your remainder is 3 right for the first time okay and i just add this 3 in our array list okay and then i just um, take the uh, like quotient part okay and what is your quotient part now your quotient part is one two two okay for the next uh, for the next time this temp is like obviously greater than zero now your remainder is what two okay and i will add this two also in our array list okay and then what is your uh, quotient part means what is your remaining temp your remaining temp is now 12 okay and obviously 12 is greater than 0 okay so now what is your remainder now what is your remainder is 2 okay and then i will add this 2 also okay so now what is your like um, quotient part means like now what is our temp our temp is 12 right so 12 divided by 10 what 12 divided by 10 we only need to take the quotient part means we will get what one okay i think it's clear so now one is obviously greater than zero so now what is your remainder your remainder is one okay and i will just add this one also in our array list okay so now now your temp is zero because one divided by ten is zero right so that's why now this while loop will just execute okay and we will just come out from this while loop okay and the next i add all the elements right in our array list so now i will just sort our array list so after sorting our array list what uh element i will get means the uh, elements are uh, same but the order will become changed right so now our order is uh one two two three okay so now okay as you know you have to ignore this first element and the last element why so because as you can remember in our question they are told me that you have to eliminate the first and the maximum and the minimum one right so that's why i use this sort technique okay so and now you can easily like remove this or you can say no need to, uh, no need to calculate right this first and the last part okay that's why i uh, use a for loop okay and i just i now i'll start uh, traversing from first index not the zeroth index okay and i will continue traversing from the like array list size minus one okay means from two to means from index position one to what from, from the array list uh so size minus two okay because it's less than means it will traverse l so size minus two okay so now i will just add all the elements okay that means you have to ignore the first position element and the last position in element okay i think it's quite uh, clear to you so at the end i just uh, return this race because here i all i have already add these two elements means two plus two is four right so i think um, our code is uh, clear to you so basically after that i just return this four only okay now is four is returned so now this i will get this four okay and i will i will just uh, sum up this four okay. then uh, you will get sum equals to four right and the same thing will happen for the other elements also and and if they then i'll just add 
uh, see sums value okay every time like sum equals to sum plus one for like for the first one you get four and for the next time you will get like for the like for the what you pick or next limit like three means four plus three okay you will get right and for next what you uh, what you will get four plus four is eight right and then last is five okay and at the end you will sum up all the things and you will get 20 okay and then you will just return this 20 and this main method will print our uh, our output okay i think it's clear so uh, best of luck for your exam if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comment section okay and try to have a small mistakes that i have made in this code okay so yeah so thanks for watching see you in the next video